All right, I'm here. I'm uh, moving stuff around. Oh, shit. There we go. Move this over. And this, and now move myself over. Good stuff. Um, so I tested audio before the stream. It should be good. But if my voice goes wild, my wife's going to tell me. And I'm going to fix it right away. So here we go. How does that sound, everyone? Does that sound okay? All right, good. <laughs> oh, we got fireworks right outside the house today. So uh, if you hear that or dogs barking, that's why. It's not pleasant. It's not pleasant. But uh, that's what happens this time of year. And most times of year, honestly. But it's been a lot this year. Fucking just a lot. Okay, so. If you are looking for ways to help the protesters out on the front line right now. There are ways to do that. Just hit bang donate in chat like was done a moment ago. Also what? I cannot hear you. Oh, awesome. I will mention that in a second. Thank you. Uh, if you are looking for ways to help the people on the front line, hit bang donate in chat and as was done a moment ago. And uh, those organizations are there to help the protesters who are fighting for the rights of black Americans right now. Fireworks are super loud. Now, I want you to, if you're planning on giving us money, I want you to think about uh, sending it their way first. While we appreciate any, any support you want to give us, they need it more than we do. Another way you can help is through uh, Bandcamp right now. They are waiving their portion of... Uh, do you know what organizations they're giving to at the moment? Do you know exactly what they're giving to? Oh, they're not giving away their... They're, it's going directly to... Oh, okay. They're waiving it and giving. They're waiving their uh, their fees and giving that money to the black artists who uh, have created the music that you are buying from them. Uh, you can get more information at blackbandcamp.info. All right. Having some intestinal pain past couple days, um, so this is going to be fun and interesting. Anyway, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, the game that should not be, gets to continue now. That really should have been the subtitle for the game. Mario plus Rabbids, the game that should not be. Here we go. So, hey, everyone. Good to see you. Fireworks are especially damaging for people with all kinds of neurodivergences that make us more uh, sensitive to loud sounds and pops and things. So, yeah, it kind of sucks that so many people and places use them to celebrate. Right, let's let's rabid. I believe we're just heading into the Boo world next. Hence why I called the stream Rabu. Not to be confused with Wabu. Fuck that guy. Alright, here's world one. I went back through World 1 and 2, of course, as you do, did the bonuses, so we're all leveled up and ready to go. Wabu doesn't wear any shoe, oh shit. Wabu is the worst raccoon, just the worst. Alright, spooky trails to you.
All right, so... Oh, it looks like the statues in this world, too, are not knights or whatever. They're coffins with rabbit ears. Oh, that poor Boo. It's, it's, it's chained there. Oh, and they actually go invisible when you look at them still. That's excellent. Also, y'all see this fucker up here? Look at this. Look at this guy. Poor thing. I don't sleep myself, but if I did, I'd probably dream about intelligent machines taking over the world. I think Quiznos is a ghost, actually. Y y yes. They're more like a zombie. I thought they were a sandwich. There we go. As per usual, remember to keep the quote bot going. The internal mechanisms are long dead, but there's still bits of them moving around, giving the- Oh, see, that's good. Yeah, there are a few quiz noses here. There's nothing stopping a zombie from being a sandwich. What about... What about a Jill? Can a Jill be a sandwich? Or only almost? Alright, so we can't... We can't fuck with this yet. Can't fuck with this yet because we would need another statue. Oh, wait, never mind. Shit! We can just pick it up from the other side. Ah, oh, clever! Context sensitive! Oh good, that led to nowhere. I'm certain there's gonna be red coins here, though. Alright, so we go through here. It's this. There's one red coin. There's another. There's another. Stressful. They give you so much time to do the red coins in this. We got a new weapon. Oh, good. The rabbits at Peach's castle love Princess Peach so much that they made this weapon so that she'd always feel close to them. Lucky her. All right, we don't have a hammer. I mean, we do. In fact, we've got a couple of hammers held by the various Marios. Spooky Trails, a place deserving of its name, I see. Huh? Ugh, no sign of Bowser Jr. or Spawny. They could be anywhere. Aha, perhaps our mysterious benefactor has the answers we seek. Congrats on finding Spooky Trails. Isn't it great? Check out the gate in front of you. Wow, I didn't see that because it was off camera. Wow, our guardian angel is good. Behind the moon gate is the cure for the plague that ravaged the Mushroom Kingdom for too long. A champion that has long been asleep will awaken and set things right. But to get to him, you'll need to find the two uh, lost relics of goodness. Find the relics and the champion, a Mr. Tom Fan, shall awake and sing with joy at having you before him. Oh, that sounds nice. 
Well, we don't have many clues, but at least we have a plan. Let's find these relics, shall we? It's a good gate. It looks like a kingdom heart. Only a very powerful enchantment could keep a boo tethered to a specific location like that. We'd best be careful. Oh, same dialogue. Oh no, the Malem. It's happening. Do you think a Tom fan is like a Tom Nook? Two pedestals, both empty, and two lost relics of goodness to recover. They must be related somehow. Alright, let's find some lost relics of goodness. Not to be confused with lost relics of greatness. Gracious? Gracious is what I meant to say. Alright, let's defeat ten enemies. Ten, ten, ten enemies. Well, at least the boos aren't attacking. We got Spooky Ziggy. Over here we got more Spooky Ziggy. It's all Spooky Ziggy? It's so much fun to say, Spooky Ziggy. Say Spooky Ziggy one more time. I dare you. I double dog dare you. We don't talk about Spooky Banjo. It's a sensitive subject. Oh good, they have faces on the back of their heads. Dry Banjo. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Can't quite get there. Can do this, though. And that'll get her to cover. Okay, but what if I threw a duck? Thank you, Mox. see, what can we do here? We can kill, kill, and kill some more! The thing rabbits do best. That's not gonna get them far enough. Can't quite reach that block either, that's a shame. By the way, Rabid Luigi is overpowered as fuck now. That didn't work. Um, 
Oh yeah. Overwatch. Mario time. I don't think you understand. It's Mario time. Did not go in Mario. I thought Mario had two charges on that. How annoying. Um, let's see. Alright, so... I guess I need to do some things. This will lock off his overwatch, I think. And also make him an easy target for- no, it won't quite do that. Well then. We're just gonna have to fix that shit, aren't we? Alright, um, you can go... You can dash back here real quick so the Peach can hop on you. I'll bring Peach forward to here. Bring it on, fuckers. And now you're burnt. Hey, you ain't gonna do shit. Oh, you're gonna go into Overwatch. You know, it's a scam, right? Yes, she does, in fact, emit a healing burst as she lands. It's Mario power. Damn. Well, now he's burnt and dead. Mario's per hour, there you go. Miles, Tails, power. Ooh, still no sight range. However, if I go over here... Now I've got the sight range. Oh, and I can just use my regular attack, but this has a chance to burn him. Not a big chance, but a chance nonetheless. Ow, rude. Extra rude. That's like double rude. So I guess it's better than double Reno. Hey, you remember how Reno was a bona fide badass in Final Fantasy VII and then in Advent Children he was a whiny child for some reason? That was weird, right? Fuck. This was a bad idea.
Never really read Reno that way. The Turks just kind of felt like Team Rocket. Maybe a little bit. I always felt like Reno represented a real threat. Damn, I'm getting my ass kicked all of a sudden. Oh, I should have jumped off of her. Fuck. That's alright, I can still make up for that. By jumping off of her. doing those 50%. Oh, that was fun. Wasn't that fun? Ah, here we go. Now we can finish him off. With a duck. Quack. very annoying. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh, can't quite reach. That's no good. Alright, neither of them are overwatching. It's Mario's movement range. Means Peach can go right here so that she's closer. Now Mario can bounce off of her for the cleansing jump. Land right here. Yeah, good enough. Ah, uh, this'll work. It's not gonna hit Mario, is it? Nah, no, just short. Hey, B! Ooh, just barely in the turn limit. Hey, that large gate over there just opened. Coincidence? I think not. Interesting to note that those smaller side gates are also open. Whoever built this place sure loved gates. Maybe we should move on and check them out. I love gates. I should buy this place. Anything cool in here? Not really. Other than the gates, no. Oh, this is a different direction. Okay. I'm trying to figure out which direction is which. We came from here, so this is south. Means we can go north or west. Jesus, that's loud.
Uh, north leads to nothing. Well, tentacles, but you know. Impassable tentacles. Alright, nothing to the east. Nothing up my sleeve. So, west it is. Okay, Rosby. Just sounds. <laughs> All right. Smaller side gates. Larger frontal gate. Full frontal gate. Alright, I found a box, and in that box there was a porcelain vacation, a new tarot. What? Check it out at the manor. What? Risby, no. No. So that's a new thing. All right, see you when you get back, Jamie. I right, can't go up there. Can't go up here. All right, let's check the other side. There's a pipe. Oh good, a maze. Just what I just what I love in video games is mazes. Well that sounds like a good party. Yeah, okay. No, nah, we're not going to talk about that. treasure. Oh, we just found Spooky Ziggy. New soundtrack. Alright, so I think that's everything we can get down the side path for right now. Unless we can go in these doors. Doesn't look like it. There's a rat. I mean, I would say that most people play video games on some level. They're, they're hardly a niche interest. Bum-biting Banyo, I like that. I mean, 
as a series of words, not conceptually. Most of the people I meet haven't played video games since the golden days of arcades. Wild. Thorn Scorn. Be a thorn in your enemy side with this menacing specimen taken straight from spooky trails. And just don't sit on it by accident. Alright, I won't. See if I do. Something I have to match this to? <laughs> there is, I don't see it anywhere. We have not met Rabbit Yoshi yet, but I do believe he's going to be our next character. Oh, here it is. All right. Um, probably a mirror, right? Probably a mirror image. Do it the other way. That's okay. Just gotta scoot everything to the other side. Pushing controls are not great, as I have mentioned. No, that didn't do it either. Oh, oh, I see. And that one goes one over as well. No? Dang it, it is a mirror image. I just had it wrong. Motherfucker. download a keyboard I I would and I have there we go Twenty power orbs sometimes it accidentally sets me to Japanese and I have to relive the time I set my localization wrong for video games about anime boys <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Well, them anime boys are in a heap of trouble now. Nothing else down here. 
guess we continue on. I don't think there's a way to get to that other section from up here. It certainly doesn't seem like it, because there's not, yeah, there's not an entrance to that pipe that we can reach. Unless it has to do with that cannon, which, oh well, we'll figure it out later. World 3-2, peak Abu. With the PSP, you'd imagine that the little menu that asks you whether you want to exit a game or not is a hard-coded part of the system UI, but no. I played a Japanese game and the text displayed was actually Japanese, well that's fun. Oh no. I know why I'm feeling so shitty. It's because there's a fucking storm passing by. Peek a boo, teleporting terrors. Let me actually check the weather report real quick and see when that rain's actually going to hit. If it's actually going to hit. There was a chance it would have hit before now. Um, alright, we've got a pretty decent chance of the rain starting by 10 or so. We shall see. I am going to grab a drink real quick, because caffeine will at least help a little bit. An espresso monster, so we're gonna have a live taste test right now. I bet it tastes like coffee. Oh, it's got a tiny little opening, too. Keep you from uh, guzzling it, I guess. Ooh, it tastes like coffee. Tastes like very creamy coffee. That's not bad. Hmm. I'm currently wondering if it's worth importing a Japanese-language-only Kingdom Hearts rhythm game with weird story bits. I mean, that seems more worthwhile than uh, playing Fortnite to get important plot points from The Last Jedi. I'm gonna wait a second till that stops. Okay, Rizvi. It's okay, it really is. It's not gonna hurt us, it's just gonna be annoying. I'm done? It's okay.
Your body is a loot box and the world is a vampire. Much like Rabid Luigi. My sensors tell me that these enemies are masters of long-range attacks and teleportation. They could outflank us, attack, and then vanish before we can react. Talk about unsporting. Also, beware their seductive charms. Peekaboos can pull you towards them like a siren leading a sailor to his doom. Chill, babies. Alright, I'm gonna bring up the BRB until, uh, this shit stops. Will be just a couple of minutes, okay? Are the guns down to fuck? Alright. It stopped for now and it's gonna start as. Yep. As soon as I bring the game back up. Now let's give this another try. Oh, right. Let's get new weapons, because Mario and Peach just unlocked new ones. Um, no, let's keep Honey on Mario. All right, Rabid Luigi, nah. I'm thinking that our best bet here is to have drones and Overwatch. Maybe just... Yeah, let's bring in Luigi instead of Rabid Luigi. Oh, but then I can't have Peach. Fuck, I forgot. You have to have at least one Rabbit on your team at all times. Alright, extra drones then. Against Valkyries, what the fuck? Hey, Xenon. I made a Matrix server, and I think it works now. I have to figure out how hosting Riot I am, and also how to allow account registration without having a public server. Fun, fun. What did you think this was? Mario or Rabbids Kingdom Battle? I think Christy made that same joke to me the other week. <laughs> Alright. What do we got here? Uh, let's look at secondary weapons. What do we got here? We got ink. Oh, we got more ink. You know, let's definitely upgrade his drone to one of these two. Since they teleport, ink seems more useful than bounce. There we go. Why would we want it to be like Discord? Making things less like Discord is generally just a better rule to, to go by. Oh yeah, we can increase the stomp range. Now we're good, we're good on skills for right now. Let's kick a little ass. Now we've got to beat all of these terrible ghosts. These terrible, naughty ghosts. Who wish to harm the Marios. A thing which we cannot allow.
You shall not harm the Marios. Not on the watch of the Grand Mario. They hope to injure the good brother Luigi or his horrible rotten doppelganger. Let's see. Together, we shall destroy the naughty ghosts. And disallow their cause. Need more good cover. More fireworks, good stuff. And now, the Green Brother's steely stare shall bring down the naughty ghosts. Oh, dang. That is not setting off Overwatch. That's pretty rotten. Well then, what if I did this? That's what I'm talking about. That's not gonna get me close enough. Bark and Mario get. We place Rabid Peach right here. It's still not gonna be enough to stomp the guy, is it? One... Yeah, that's not going to do it. Which means it's time for Rabid Peach. To scream very loudly. It's what she's good at, you understand. It's like her specialty.
Crunch. Ow. Rude. Why, why would you bring her closer to where you were going? Alright, if we go up here, then we can have Mario hop off of her head and land on this guy. No one makes a chump out of the Mario. Not nobody. It's not gonna work. <laughs> this is, though. <laughs> Alright, this should follow him wherever he goes. At least, I think so. is going to make it very difficult to actually do this within the turn limit. Wait, never mind. We got this. Wow. This is definitely Luigi's Mansion-esque. This is where we came in. Wow. Probably a statue around here somewhere for that pillar. Doesn't look like there's anything in any other direction. The Mario Brothers and the babysitter their mom hired. Yep. Didn't check her credentials either. Alright. Um, the statue is probably going to be through here then? see it yet. Good thing these foreboding suits of armor aren't possessed by any evil spirits. That would be stressful. Yeah. Not possessed by any evil spirits. Oh, those must be the Valkyries. And there's the statue we was looking for. Mario is missing, but it's Adventures in Babysitting 10-hour version. <laughs> wow. 
B is playing Sniper Elite 3 Ultimate Edition. How's that going for you, B? I see London. We found another new tarot. Oh, the museum. I thought it said the the manor. <laughs> okay, we're just being fired out of cannon after cannon. More skill orbs, power spheres, power stones. Oh shit. Meant to go the other way first. Orbs. Cannon, except it's pronounced by like onion. Oh, Kanyan. As if peekaboos weren't bad enough, this abbey is infested by boos. I can sense their presence. Get close and they'll chase you. Then, when it's their turn, they'll teleport you to another location on the battlefield. Like a bunch of fucking assholes! Alright, now that we know that, uh, Overwatch does not help against the peekaboos... Rabid Peach is a good idea because of her drone. Luigi is also good because of the drone. But I think Peach and Rabid Peach will make the best team right here. Do ghosts have underpants? No, they have under booze. But, like, like, like under ruse? Do you, do you get it? Um, increase range of M power, decrease cooldown, decrease hero sight cooldown. Mega ma power. Oh, okay, he didn't have this yet. I thought he did. There we go. Not like under boob, no. Increase heals range of effectiveness, that I'm down for. Costs a hundred! Good lord, I guess it's because she's got the massive shotgun. Cleansing jump, team jump range, dash damage, that costs 90. Healing jump range, yeah, I'm down with that. Maybe boo is short for boob, we just don't know. See, see, their official name is Boo Buddy, after all. So, if you just leave out the Uddy, they are boobs. <laughs> there we go, look at that. You can just fucking hop, skip, and jump to both of them. Alright, so the Boo's... I can't damage, it looks like? Which makes sense, that's very Boo-esque. That's a very Boo thing to do, so to speak.
Alright, so no matter what, the boos are going to start teleporting us around. Thank you, Bad Road. I was saying boo-esque. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, can we... No, we can't damage it now, either. No, we're gonna... We're gonna explode some dudes. How's that sound? Anyone else up for exploding some dudes? She can only hit one of them. That's fine. <laughs> Are you faster than bees now? Yes. I think that's a given. Have a duck. Why a duck? Fuck you. Mario kicked two of them? I didn't think so. Let's kill that one. Oh, he can't get to either pipe. That's no fun. Well, sucks to be Mario. Bye. She protect. It's the boo turn. Oh, just gonna move them back, huh? Gonna make sure that we stay safe, I guess. <laughs> That's fun. Apparently the boos are on our side. Sure is good to have boo buddies, huh? All right. What are we doing? Not really any good ways to go about what I'm trying to do. So I guess what we want to do is place Rabid Peach right here. It heal. And then bounce Mario over her. No, he cannot go far enough. Alright. This sucks. This fight right here, this sucks. Oh my shit. Not a fan. Alright, now if I land right here, the boo will grab him.
The taste is gonna boo ya. Let's land right here. Get rid of the healer at least. Except we can't get rid of it, that's no fun. Ah, that did it. I mean, the point of the quote bot is very much quantity over quality. Good lord. This is fine. Give a good jump. Nice big good jump. He's now blocking Peach's way. That's fine. Completely reasonable. There we go. What the fuck me is, uh, is the other theme of the quote bot. sending her. Oh, right back to the start. The boos really are just, like, protecting us. I know they're trying to hinder our progress, but it's not going that way. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, I did it. Could that gramophone over there be one of the, uh, relics of goodness? 
Jeez, you got better eyes than I do. Though it is on an identical pedestal. I thought I saw a matching gold pedestal somewhere. But where? Oh, you pointed it out. They must be connected somehow. Let's grab the gramophone and get out of here. This place sends shivers down my theoretical spine. Right, we're gonna take a quick BRB, and then we'll be back in just a few minutes to go searching for anything we missed when I skipped that whole area by jumping into cannons. All right, I am back, and I am still stretching my knees. Ah, there we go. That's some good knee stretching. Hi, back, I'm B. Well, good for you! I'm gonna go find a puddle to drink from or something. It doesn't seem like the best. Oh, I actually can't go backwards from here. Well, we'll have to do that later then. Oh, this door is probably gonna lead right back through, so. Poss water, the water for Poss. Oh hey, it was a pressure plate. And 
now we have a gramophone. Just... Just gonna carry that, huh? The puddle is localized in a cup. Oh, good. Uh, my phone hasn't gone off, surprisingly. It's yours now. Use it wisely. Yeah, there's, there's phone-like sounds in the game. I also am carrying a gramophone. That's exactly the same thing, right? Cell phone buzzing? I don't know. Um, Beepo sometimes makes a buzzing sound. Yeah, Stardew Valley with the Mastodon notification. Alright, so now we gotta go east. But we're going back west first to check through uh, the area that we were in. We're clearly on the right track. There certainly isn't a trap. Let's see what our fairy godmother has to say. <laughs> Good job! You found one of the relics. Hopefully it was extremely unpleasant. Uh, unpleasant for your enemies, I mean. The second relic of goodness will involve a long and perilous journey, during which you'll probably meet a grisly end. Have fun. Notice that the letters aren't signed here. Well, I certainly hope Tom Fan is the person who's worth the trouble. Still. There's even a chance he can help us defeat Bowser Jr. and rescue Spawny. We've got to take it. Did you figure out what Tom Fan is a code for? Because I actually haven't yet. Phantom. Oh, that's so obvious. That's so obvious, and I hate it. <laughs> Alright, we're heading back this way to search for treasure real quick. It was too simple! Oh. Well then. We didn't miss anything. No, wait. It was this area up ahead that I had to... Uh, think? Maybe? It's fine. Fine. Aha! Here we go. Okay. Yeah, this was the area. Cold start, hot finish, new soundtrack. Tom Fan, the fourth tenor. The fifth top. Ooh. Wait a second. This isn't a book. Hey, it's a shy guy mask. It's just a box with the word book written on it. Of course, that wasn't actually crime! Chemical imbalance, a new tarot. Tired, Octopath Traveler's gimmick is that it's a JRPG but with eight engaging main characters that have intertwined stories. Wired, Octopath Traveler's gimmick is that it's a JRPG but it has HD rumble. <laughs> I mean, Octopath Traveler is effectively an extension of the Saga series by different people. Yeah! 
Alrighty. Now we head back to the start. And this time we go east. Ooh. I heard it was more like Bravely Default and also Romancing Salsa. Well, Romancing Saga is part of the Saga series. Hence the name Romancing Saga. All right, here we go. Romancing Salsa was unrelated. Are you not just saying Romancing Saga, but spelling it like sauce? Oh, okay. Uh, I'd always, the way it was described to me, it sounds exactly like the Saga series. Specifically, the uh, Saga Frontier story series. Saga Frontier 1 and 2 on the PlayStation would be the ones that I would most compare the descriptors given to me to. We're going through these side gates again. Ooh, I found a box. Really mincing your words, it's all good. Uh-oh, we found an angry cannon. We can't go through it because it's angry and there's tentacles. Alright, now it's not angry anymore. I mean, literally, what you have just said, eight separate stories that all intertwine together with engaging main characters, that is literally Saga Frontier. Alright, we should uh, check out the, uh, the no longer angry cannon. The formerly angry cannon. The cannon formerly known as Anger. Alright. Hooray! Ten power orbs. Knock down this gate. The fuck is this place? Can't use these pipes like pipes anymore. We gotta use the weird rabbit pipes now. Swamp House! A member of Lur said Romancing Salsa instead of Romancing Saga once and it's stuck in my head ever since. <laughs> oh dear. Alrighty. In the cold of battle. Very clever. I found a red block. Hey, new pride emote. Awesome. Katie, this place is a mid-Germanic village cemetery. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Whoops, wrong way. Now we go this way.
Aww, it's adorable. Chapter 3. Koala. Oh. How should I pronounce this? This is good, though. This is good. I'm going to hit the uh, save screenshot button. That's a good scene right there. This is... This is excellent. This is an officially released Nintendo game. This is a video game that Shigeru Miyamoto himself approved. I want to make that perfectly clear. He was personally involved in this game. Want me to pronounce curse words as Gino? <laughs> ah, shit. Not again. <laughs> Shigeru Miyamoto wrote this line, actually. <laughs> guys, guys, you won't believe what happened. Toad wandered off, you got separated, and now you need our help to find him again. Nope. We were playing hide-and-seek, and then we got separated. This used to be a great place for that kind of stuff. Spooky, but not too spooky, if you catch my meaning. But now... Even Mario's had it with this shit. You know, we are heroes. It's not like we don't have quests and things. He's in the box, isn't he? The box we're not acknowledging. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to be a bother. <laughs> Couldn't I just tag along and look for him myself? I'm sorry, we are simply too busy right now. I'll give you whatever's in this treasure chest I found. What if it's just an old boot and a rusty telescope or something? Ooh, do you think? Well, I'll still let you have it if you help me find Toad. Ugh. Well, now we have Toadette with a box on her head. This is a unique character, different from regular Toadette. You know, like how Metal Mario is separate from Mario? Okay, Nintendo, when does Toadette with a box on her head get in Smash? <laughs> Needs aloe. You found a new tarot. Hello, hello, what's all this then? Oh. Escort Toadette. Hey, there's Toad at the end. That was quick. All right. If we're doing an escort, I want Luigi to come along. And... Oh, Rabid Mario to be a powerhouse.
Do you need his hammer upgraded? He sure the fuck does. Let's give him the column crusher. Now it looks like uh, a Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts, specifically Mount Olympus. Captain Toad and Captain Toadette are both just these helpless goofbags, yep. Alright, here we go. Let's fight. Alright, um, where does Toadette have to Toad get? This is a long way. Alright, so she's got to get to this pipe. And the quickest way to do that... Good fucking lord, this is a big battlefield. I cannot even keep track of where I'm supposed to go. Alright. This is this is a bit much. All right, basically that that way. We got to go this way. So, we're going through this pipe. That pipe goes backwards. So we can actually send her that way. That might actually be quicker. Yeah, if we send her this way through this pipe, And we're going to want to send her through this one as well. At which point she's got to hop down and go over here. Alright, that's not that bad, but this battlefield's massive! Like, holy shit, y'all! All right, how fast can she move? Not fast enough is the correct answer. All right, she's gonna go this way. And now we're gonna set up a fucking perimeter. Watch your six, stay frosty, etc. Alright, I guess that's it for round one. Ooh, they're coming from behind. Well... That sucks. I should have brought Peach along. Damn! Crack shot Luigi! Yeah, Mario and Tactical aren't exactly two words I, uh, expect to see together. Yeah, I should definitely bring Peach if we end up having to redo this.
Ooh, that hurt the drone. That's fine. This'll all- oh, this won't quite hurt the drone. It will hurt Toadette, though. Which, arguably worse. How many... how much movement does she have? She has five movement. One, two, three... Okay, she's just not gonna be able to get there no matter where I set her unless I put her... completely out in the open. That's no fun. There's an idea. Draw you out. Mario fires. Why, yes, I am clever. Thank you. And then Mario still got one more Overwatch shot. Uh, Luigi adds movement to Toadette next turn. And then Mario is ready-ish. He's gonna fire at Rabid Mario. Ooh, knock that shit down, huh? Ah, still can't quite make it. That's all right. All right, but what if... And hear me out. No, that's all. Still not quite enough, eh? Alright, that's the end of that turn then. Alright, good. They're, uh, concentrating on the immobile drone. Very happy with that. She's not capable of dabbing on the haters with a box on her head, oh no. And then she's all, there's a box on my head. Get it off, 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 get it off. Hey everyone, I'm Strong Bad. I'm from 2002. Ask your parents. Who said that? It's probably Super Mash, so that's probably Annie. Hmm. Not a lot of good... Not a lot of good ones. Mario can hop over to here. And in case Ouija's 
Overwatch gets set off. Let's make it more powerful. Yeah, just keep shooting the immobile drone. Yo. Well, that guy's dead. Whoa. That guy's not dead, but... He could be. That's what matters. That's gonna, that's gonna get complicated. Alright, if Mario... ...pops to here... ...then Luigi... And all things being equal, pop to here. here we go. Ink that guy. Um, give Toadette the extra move range. And then get her positioned here. She should be safe, I think. Could have Rabid Mario finish this fucker off. Otherwise... Yeah, might as well. And also set him up, self up as a target to distract from Toadette. I love how he just leans with his hands in his pocket, it's so good. Yeah, you better run. I guess that's what you're doing. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Definitely should have taken a healer with me. Stand out in the open. That should be just distracting enough. Oh, hey, bud. What you doing? Alright, let's spring him. Ah! Didn't spring. 
not a good place for Toadette to stand here where she's not just going to get hit, so... I guess she's just going to get hit. Yeah, definitely need to take a healer if we gotta do this again. I say if, like it's not a sure thing at this point. Oh, now you bounce him. This new kind of captcha that asks you to click and hold a button, and I think it doesn't like Firefox because I can't get it to work. On one hand, it's very affirming to be seen as a bot. On the other, I do want to sign this petition, thanks. Oh, fun. Can we hop down? No, not really. Oh, we can hop down this way. That's fun. Oh, whoops. Well, that's fine. You didn't need cover anyway, right? Now, Luigi, you're gonna hero sight just in case. Mario, similar. Except he can't hero sight, so he's just gonna, you know, regular hero. Ooh, good stuff. So it turns out I didn't die. Ooh! Ooh! Damn! Mmm. Let's grab some of these coins. Was well, quite a few. Hmm. Yeah, she's got to put herself out into the open. We're gonna keep making time, so that's all right. It's all right. We got this next time. It's it's cool. Oh, you teleport anyway, so it didn't matter where she went. Yep, that's over. That's fine. We'll do it next week. Game over. Sad Ouija. 
All right. We'll get back to this next week. In the meantime, thanks everyone for coming. The schedule for the next week's looking pretty good. Sunday we got Community Day. Monday is Christy with Sunless Sea. Sky is Sunless Sky is the other one. Tuesday is Andrea with uh, Super Mash. Wednesday it's Sue with Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Thursday is Alice with Chrono Trigger. Uh, Friday is me with uh, Press Any Key, I believe. I don't have a theme yet, but we'll figure one out. Hmm? You don't have- do you have a theme? You don't have a theme? Alright. Didn't realize it was coming up. Alright, you can- you can also check out our schedule at... What's the website? Uh, truckcommunity.neocities.org uh, Christy has put that up. Xenon discovered the service for easy web hosting. Also, Xenon provided the lovely truck GIF. That truck fucks, as Andy said. Uh, if you are looking for a way to help the protesters on the front line right now, hit bang donate in chat. There's a couple links there to help you on your way. If you're thinking about giving us your money by cheering or subscribing, or what have ye, think of them first. They're fighting for the rights of black Americans all over, and they need that money more than we do right now. We have a stream team, they're listed below here on the page, at truck.community. They're great streamers. You should follow and watch them, and that'll be also excellent. And I'll see you next time. Good night, everyone.